guys, it's Dana and it's Tuesday, so it's time to talk about money. And today I wanted to talk about how to start a cash envelope system. All right, so in past videos, I've talked about how important I think it is to pay with cash. It helps you spend less, helps you be more frugal and just because you feel it more when you pay with cash. But I've had a couple people say, well, what does that mean? Do you, every time you get paid, do you just cash, cash out your entire paycheck and you have all cash? And so, no, to answer that question, no, it doesn't mean when we get paid, we, we take out all of our money and we have nothing in our bank account. We definitely do not do that. So I wanted to talk about cash envelope systems, um, what that means, is it really an envelope? How much cash do you have? Um, do you even have to have cash, hold, cold, hard cash, to be using the cash envelope system, right? So those are all uh, really good questions and it can be really confusing, especially for those of us or for those of you who get really hung up on the details of things and you're trying really hard to follow a system and to follow it right and you might be confused. Um, for example, if you are doing a cash envelope system, you might have different categories such as clothing, um, household items, food, those might be different cash categories. However, a lot of stores such as Target or Walmart or even your grocery store, if you go in there, maybe there's a shirt, there's a t-shirt that you really like and you pick that t-shirt up and you're like, I'm gonna buy this t-shirt, it's a local t-shirt. Sometimes we have local t-shirts um, supporting the high school or whatever in the grocery store and you might wanna buy it, but then that's a different category than your food. So what are you supposed to do when you get to the checkout? What are you supposed to do? <laughs> Just, I mean, that's one transaction, but you have multiple envelopes, right? So how does that work? Well, one way you could do it is you could ask the cashier, which many of them do not mind at all, but if you have your items separated out, you might even have two baskets within your cart and in one basket you could put clothes and in the other basket maybe you'd have shampoo or you know different other products that's in a different category so when you go to check out you could just say here's this basket that's a separate transaction from this transaction and they'll be happy to do that they don't care if you have five different transactions as long as you've got it sorted ahead of time and you're you know ready to go when you get to the line i mean it doesn't bother them any if you're going to be at least i've heard from different cashiers they don't care really so you can have them separate it out and to use the different categories. Or if you wanted to, if you knew that that t-shirt was $10 when you get to the checkout, then you know you make it all one transaction, but then take $10 out of your clothing envelope and stick it over into the food envelope, wherever you kind of stole from in that transaction. So if it's just one or two items, you could do it that way, right? So hopefully that helps answer that question. All right, so like I said, we do not empty out our bank account when we get paid. We do have money in our bank account. So I think number one, this is something people really get confused by is that cash envelopes, they don't have to actually be cash that you withdraw. So within your monthly budget, whether you do it in Excel, you use every dollar, whatever your the system is you're using, if you have a yellow notepad you're writing it on, you have your monthly budget for that month, you know you project out before the month begins, all the money coming in and all the money going out. So within that budget, you might have a, a line item for clothing that says, you know, I don't know, $100. That would be, that'd be a lot for us, but um, $100 for clothes that for that month is what you have for your budget item. So that comes like that, that's in your budget so that the $100 is sitting in your bank account and it's just sitting there, right? But maybe you don't buy clothes that month. So you have that $100 sitting there. So next month when your $100 comes out, that line item in your budget, right? Then you'd have $200 just sitting in your bank account for clothes. So you could do it that way. And then, you know, maybe you do buy an, an item of clothing that month and you could use your debit card if you wanted to. Um, and then that's kind of like you're using your cash envelope for clothing. It's going to come out of it. You'd have to adjust your, you know, you'd have to know that, adjust your budget. Or you could take out the cash. You could say, I know I have $200 sitting in the account from the past two months for clothing and I wanna go buy clothes this month, so I'm gonna take out that cash from, from the bank, right? But certain envelopes or you know whatever you, I mean those, we have a Christmas envelope, right? And it's a separate bank account. And every single month money you know is direct deposited into this separate bank account for Christmas, 
but I'm not taking out that cash every month. It's just sitting there growing, building until Christmas when we take out the cash, okay? So, all right, so, and then obviously there's items such as like utility bills and you know regular you know bills that we um, pay electronically through bill pay and I never, I never actually take that cash out. It's just part of our budget. And so I'm not, we're not taking out all of the, all of our money to pay with cash or things. Cash also just really means you have the money in your bank account. So when the term is used, use cash for everything, like pay cash for a car. You might not really have actual cash in your hand, but you know, you, you have the money in your bank account, right? So, so does that make sense? So hopefully it does. Um, but yeah, so if you want actual cash though for certain categories, which like I said, I think is good when you're buying things, maybe not a car, I don't know, you, I don't think you'd wanna take out all that cash, 20 grand in cash would be really fun to walk around town with or scary, I think it would be scary. Um, but you know, usually cash is different, you know, things per month, like um, a little, maybe you take money out to buy sandwiches at your local convenience shop or buy lunch at work or whatever. You have your cash envelope system for the month. And so, for example, clothing. It's a good example, right? So clothing. All right, so how are you gonna hold that cash? So you know you're gonna have $100 that month for your clothing, and you wanna take out the cash because you know you're gonna wanna buy clothes this month. So in the beginning of the month, it, you know you take out that cash, or the first time you get paid, however you're gonna work it, your first paycheck comes out, you know that $100 is coming out for your clothing, so you take that out. And then what you do with it is, there's so many different ways, so many different things you can do with it. You can use a clip, right? So here is my wallet, which I have shown in a prior video, and I have a wallet with a zipper, right? So it zips around. I highly suggest when you're using cash, you wanna have envelopes or a wallet that has a zipper. So that way you don't wanna lose that cash. That'd be very sad and depressing. So whether you have, you know, you can have cloth envelopes, um, that you can buy on Etsy or you know wherever you can make them if you want. You can have a cloth envelope with a zipper on it, but just make sure it has the zipper on it to keep everything contained. So then within your wallet, you can have clips to make the envelope, right? So I use the clip system. We have actual clips that clips each chunk of money. And so you can put it in your wallet or you could put it in like a, like a, something like this. You can buy a bunch of different like clutches. This is um, was I think for coupons, but we had cash in here. This thing's really worn out. You can see this strap doesn't really hold like it used to. But um, so you can use something like this where you put the cash clip system inside of it. And then each color clip signifies a different category. I even, you know, sometimes write on top of these clips so I know what it is. So you don't have to actually use an envelope. You can use these clips to clip the money together and then you stick it into whatever vessel you want to, a clutch, um, a coupon case. You can go and get clear, um, these thick clear, um, like they're for makeup and stuff. I don't know how to explain it with a zipper on it. I've gotten those at like uh, Walgreens or CVS and you can use that for your cash system. It's really whatever works for you. Uh, it's, it doesn't, like I said, it doesn't have to be like a whole bunch of envelopes in your wallet, like real envelopes like this, right? So you can use envelopes like this if you want to, you know, with cash in it, but you definitely don't have to. Um, I have never done it this way, but some people do. I like it's something a little bit prettier, really. But the main thing here is to make sure it has, I think, a zipper on it to keep your money safe. Keep it safe. <laughs> so we have a car um, repair envelope, but I'm not taking out that actual cash from the bank. So I have this envelope or separate account or line item in our budget where money comes out every month to go into our car repair envelope, right? But when I need, and I have it in my spreadsheet because I'm a spreadsheet junkie. So then I have a separate tab for car repair. At the top I have, you know, I, I every, you know, every other week or whatever, I go up and I update the balance in there. And then I know how much money I have in our car repair fund. And then when we have to get car maintenance done, I just use my debit card to pay for it. I add that 
the item of work that was done into my spreadsheet and I subtract, you know, obviously the total comes down because we use that amount of money to repair the car for oil changes or what have you. And then I like it because I have a Excel spreadsheet tab filled with all of the car repair and for which car, when, I have the date in there, how much we spent so I can compare, you know, like, oh, last year the oil change was actually more expensive than it was this year. I wonder what's going on with that. <laughs> so I can compare different shops, you know, different mechanics, what they charge, for different services because I have it charted in my uh, spreadsheet because I am a super nerd and you don't have to go that far with it. But my point is using the cash envelope system doesn't necessarily mean you have actual cash in your hand for every single thing. It just means that you have allocated actual money so that you won't be using a credit card when you have to pay for certain things. And then like in some cases, it's great to use cash. So we do take out cash for groceries every single Friday. My husband goes to the bank and he takes out cash for grocery shopping. That way when the cash is gone, like he, it's gone and then there's no more money for food, right? So in those cases, it can be really, really good, very beneficial. And then, um, so hopefully that's helpful to get your cash envelope system started or your cash system uh, in place. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them down below in the comments and I will do my best to answer them either in a video in the future or, you know, everybody helps each other out, which I really appreciate. And um, when someone leaves a comment, someone else can obviously answer their perspective and then we all help each other. That's what this is all about. All right. So thank you guys so much for watching. If it's your first time here, be sure to subscribe. I'm here every single Tuesday talking all about money. We're a family of six and we live in the Philadelphia area and I work full time outside the home, but I do this YouTube thing on the side because I think it's fun and helps to motivate me and hopefully it helps to motivate you guys and encourage you to live debt free. All right. I think it's just oh, such a gift to be debt free in your life. Okay. All right. That's it. I'll talk to you guys next week. Bye.